So disclaimer, um, this is my first how-to video. Bear with me, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, second disclaimer, we are not electricians. Uh, we still don't fully understand everything about this door and how or why it works, but we got it to work. And so we're gonna show you how we got that to happen. So we have a shuttle bus and um, this is the, the system that we're using. So as, if you have these two exact same things, this will work really well for you. Uh, um, and the reason we chose this one is because of this little thing right down here where it says pneumatic locks, no problem. So um, if you're doing something like this with a door that takes a couple seconds to open, you need um, a keyless entry system that says it will work with pneumatic locks. So you need one that says pneumatic locks so that it sends a signal for long enough for the doors to fully open. Um, let's start with the power system. So we've got, for the door opening, we've got the motor here, um, which uh, turns gears, turns those gears, and gets those two things to move to open the doors. These are the power cables that come directly from the motor. And they go into this little box right down here, this guy. And out of this box, we've got a few different things going on. We've got this guy, which goes to this system, which I believe when the doors open all the way, that moves and pushes down those things and clicks. And that, I believe, is what turns the, the motors off so that it doesn't just keep trying to open it and grind the gears. So that's, I think, the, the feedback system that tells this to stop getting power going to the gears. This is where it gets power from the engine. Red one is always has power when the key is on, no matter what. Still don't exactly know what that one does. Um, the yellow one um, gets power when you tell the doors to open. White gets power when you close the do when you tell the doors to close. Green, we're pretty sure, is a ground because that never had power going to it. So that is the basic of what was already here in the door before we started. Now, the system that we added is right over here. So this is the little box that you get. Um, back here, this guy is the antenna. So we just kind of strung that up there. Um, this is the main box of wires that comes out of it. Um, there's two other things that came with it. Um, one is for like a trunk pop and another one is for uh, just a little light to turn on and off. So we didn't need either of those. So we just didn't plug those in. This section is the weird part. So there are six pins coming out of here. One, two, three on the top. One, two, three on the bottom. This is the configuration that you need those to be in in order for it to work for pneumatic locks. I'll show you that on the instructions later because it's difficult to understand on the instructions. But when you have it set up like this, the doors get power for five seconds. If you have them set up the way um, in the configuration that they're in when you first, when they arise from the factory, then it only gets power for half a second. So your doors wouldn't open all the way. Most of these wires we didn't use. So this whole mess of wires is just not connected to anything. We didn't use these at all. These are for trunk opening, turn signal, flashing. Um, I can't remember what else, but it was a bunch of things that we just, we, we knew we didn't need uh, or features that we didn't want of this. So those just stay over there. The only wires we ended up using were these six wires here Let's start with the two whites. There is a solid white and a white with a black stripe on it. The solid white is um, considered the lock and the white with the black is considered unlock. So we did unlock white and black um, as our open, which means we come back over here. Remember over here, <laughs> yellow was our opening power. White was our closing power. So we connected white and black to yellow and we connected white to white. We spliced these in further up just to get them kind of out of the way. I think they're spliced in up here. Um, but that's, that's where those wires end up going, okay? So white and black to yellow, white to white. Now for the actual power, um, we use these other 
four wires. We've got two yellows coming off over here um, and a black and a red. So the black is the ground. That goes to the negative terminal on the, on the 12 volt battery. The red is the positive. That goes to the positive terminal on the 12 volt battery. And these two were also labeled power. So we splice them in with the red. So red and two yellows all go to the positive um, terminal on the 12 volt battery. Black goes to negative. Hope you followed all that. I'll show you a diagram here that came with the box. So in here, you have this little instruction manual. You can pause that there if you want to read through it. And on the back, we've got a bunch of different diagrams. So there's a bunch of different options. Over here it says pneumatic lock, um, but that ended up, when we tried setting it up like that, it didn't work. Um, this is the setup that worked for us. It says positive trigger. So this section corresponds with that main box of wires that came off um, that I showed you earlier. This one right here. Off, this is a close up of those wires. So orange not used. White, that's what went to the lock. Um, yellow and yellow come together and go to positive 12 volt. We added in the red because that was the main power source for the box. Orange and black not used. White and black is the unlock signal. Okay, so this is this is the main thing that worked for us. Up here is where we found, here we go, that the red and the black coming off of there are the main power source for the box. Here is the diagram of this part, okay, with those six pins coming out. So this is head-on looking. This is how it came in the factory. The shaded out parts were where those little boxes were over the pins. So all you needed to do was take the box from the top left and move it to the top right. So instead of that pin and that pin being exposed, you now just have the two pins on the left being exposed. Show you that up here as well. So in the factory, this little top box was over here covering this pin and the middle pin. So you could see this bottom left pin and the top right pin. So we just needed to shift that over, whoop, shift that over one spot. And that's what allows it to be for the pneumatic locks or send signal for five seconds. I think that's it. And if you get all that set up right, you are then able to... Oh. <laughs> okay, so you also have to have this engaged. There we go. All right. Have that engaged first. And then... Then it works like a charm. Good luck.